Hello, Internet. I'm Alexis Ohanian. Now, I've been teaching a class here in New York called Making Something People Love. And I've taught it twice at Skillshare and twice at General Assembly. And the response has been awesome. Uh, the classes have sold out. People are really, really excited about making something people love. And that's great. Uh, that is absolutely wonderful. And I'm more than willing to share all the things that I've done over the years with Reddit, with BreadPig, and with Hitmonk to build brands, to build companies that people really, really love. And I wanted to share this with as many people as possible. And, you know, unfortunately, those classes don't scale very well. But video does, which is why I'm here in this video. Uh, and I'm hoping to make this an ongoing series where I talk about not just the things I covered in the class, but also ongoing stuff that I'm doing, as well as things that I observe others are doing to make things that people love. Now, I wanted to get this started today, but unfortunately, there's something much more pressing, uh, and, and that is the Stop Online Piracy Act. Now, a ton of us New York tech founders showed up on Saturday to discuss what we could do to make sure that this bill does not pass because it threatens not just our internets but our livelihoods. The reality is the story of, of Reddit, uh, where Steve Huffman and I started it from an apartment in Medford, Massachusetts with $12,000 in funding from Y Combinator, simply could not have happened in a world with this bill. Uh, the, the Reddit success story, uh, and here we are six years later, it, one of the most trafficked websites on the internet could not have happened. And it's not just Reddit, it's every single other social media site out there that would be threatened by this bill. And that is devastating. And, and it's something we simply cannot afford to do from an economic standpoint. The, the tech sector is one of the few vibrant parts of the U.S. economy right now. And it's one where we still out-innovate the rest of the world. And we need to keep it that way, uh, frankly, because I don't know what else I would do with my life, <laughs> whether it's my capacity as a founder or as an advisor or as an investor. This industry is all I know. And I <laughs> really, really love it. Uh, and so if you love it, too, then it's imperative, absolutely imperative that we make sure we win this fight. Now, I got the chance to go down to the hill. Uh, a few weeks ago, and I met with a number of representatives and a number of senators, including Senator Moran and Representative Chaffetz, both of whom have now proposed an alternative bill because they are no longer satisfied with SOPA as it stands, which is great, but we need more than that, and we need you to call your representatives. Uh, so please visit fightforthefuture.org, all right? That's fightforthefuture.org. Take a look, educate yourself, and if you agree that this would also be devastating, to our wonderful internet, then please, I implore you, call your representative and let them know that too much is on the line here. And it's not just a censorship issue, it's an economic issue. And it's something that we just cannot afford to have pass. So thanks again. Remember, fightforthefuture.org. And I promise the next video I put up will actually be about making something people love instead of just saving something that people love. Thank you.